Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. Now today I have a cool product that I want to show you guys. I ended up finding this online a few weeks back, made the purchase, and I've been testing it out for a few weeks now, and it has turned out to be an amazing addition to my YouTube gadget arsenal. So I thought I would share it with you guys. Now, I do a lot of YouTube fishing. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do different uh, types of fishing all throughout Southwest Virginia and different surrounding areas and I also run a Facebook page Fishing with Big D and I also have an Instagram channel of which I share my catches and my experiences with you guys and it generates a lot of buzz. Now one of the big questions that I get asked a lot is the different types of gadgets that I use when recording and filming. Now, if you're like me and you spend a lot of time outdoors and you like to record these moments, if you like to capture these different sceneries in pictures or movies, or maybe you just like going walking in the park, you like to listen to your phone, play music, just, you know, your basics, you're going to find out quick that you drain a lot of battery power from your electronics while outdoors. Now, if you're like me and you're trying to record a fishing video, You've got two or three GoPros that you're trying to run, maybe your cell phone as well. You're going to go through a lot of battery life as well. Sometimes I can record different videos and shoot enough footage to cover a 12-hour span. There's just a lot really involved in it when trying to capture those perfect moments for your audience. Now, I run into a ton of issues of having to carry lots of little battery packs to keep all my gadgets powered, my GoPros and stuff like that. I've even made purchases of solar battery packs and stuff. These are very, very useful when you're out there trying to make these kinds of videos. But I run across this product online and I was wanting to try it out. All right guys, so let me dig in and show you this product that I chose to go with. Now. One of the big issues that I had and I faced was having to recharge battery packs and stuff while out there on the water. Uh, what I would generally do would take them back to my car and start the car and let my car charge it, which wasn't very ideal. I didn't like to leave my car running, even though I was only a few feet away. But at the same time, it just was very inconvenient and not very efficient. So I chose to go with one of these portable solar panels. Now the one I bought comes from ECEN. I hope that's how you state that name. It's E-C-E-E-N. They are a green company. They uh, produce solar panels and a few other types of electronics if I'm not mistaken. Um, they come with a little calling card and an email address where you can direct all of your questions and they will get back to you with answers as soon as possible. Now the product comes with a 12 month warranty as long as you don't damage the product, general basis of any product that you buy anymore. But it comes in a small package, tiny little box as you can see, and this thing is super lightweight. Let's take it out of the packaging like so. It's got a polyester, I believe, material. That's what it's made of. It's really soft and sleek in design. I noticed right off the bat it has these hanging loops. I'm sure that's for attachments to hang this up to catch the sun. Now the front is going to open up like so. It has a Velcro pad right here. Uh, neat little feature. It unfolds to show you two large solar panels. Now just estimating, I'm going to guess these are about 12 to 14 inches long and look like they are about six inches wide. You have two open area panels. You're just going to try to capture the sun best as you can. And this thing's going to begin to produce power. Now this is a solar panel. It does not save or store. So there is no batteries. So 
Basically, you just hook the item up and it charges it for you and fills the battery of your item. That's why I like to carry around this battery pack. This battery pack can generally give me about 12 to 24 hours of life and battery storage. I hook this up to my solar panel. This thing charges up and stores that energy and I'm able to take my devices with me on the go. I'll put a link to both of these products down in the description if you wanna go check them out for yourselves. All right, guys, so now the back, it's got this zipper pad. We're gonna open this up. And inside you're gonna find your instruction manual. They're gonna give you four stainless carabiners is what they look like. Like I stated, that's what those rings come in handy for. These little side rings. You take your carabiner, you hook it to that, you can hang this from your backpack, your tent, your tree, your bicycle, what have you. You're just gonna wanna park your solar panel out in the sun somewhere and let it do its work. Now, the panels produce five volts of electricity, which is 2.1 amps, and they are capable of charging tons of items. Small radios, cell phones, battery packs, and etc. Now, the product is water resistant. The cloth is made of a water resistant uh, material that will push and shed away water best as possible. But the overall solar panels are not waterproof, so do not get them wet, wet. Uh, it's okay if they get a light rain on them or so, you know, just try to clean them off as quick as possible. But the overall product is not protected waterproof. I uh, wanted to point that out. <clears throat> it also comes with a mini USB port cable that you can charge with. Now, if you will look on the back inside of the zipper area, this is where you're going to find your ports that you can charge from. So once you find your sunlight, you open the panels up and you position it to catch the sun. You're gonna plug your devices into here and it will begin to charge. Uh, it just states on the booklet and the manual that it gives off about five volts of electricity. So what I have found when I'm charging my battery pack to store battery power for my gadgets out on the road, I like to leave this in the dash of my car or in the seat and have it open to where the sun's hitting it directly. And what I'll do is I'll run my long USB cable to my battery pack and I'll set that down in the floorboard so that it doesn't get really hot and I don't have to worry about it. But the solar panel will begin to charge and store the energy in the battery pack. All right guys, so let me show you how I use it out here in the field. Now keep in mind, solar panels do have their limitations. They don't store power, they just produce power and it depends on how bright the sun is. Today's a cloudy day, so it's gonna take longer in effect to charge my battery packs. But generally on a hot summer day, like I'm normally using it for, it really, really produces some energy. So when I'm out on the field, generally this is what I do. I like to take the solar panel, I'll open it up and I will stick that up in my dash like so and that will allow it to catch a ton of sunlight as long as I'm not parked under a tree or you can stick it in the bed of your truck. But I like to do the inside so I can lock my doors and I don't have to worry about people stealing. I'll run my long cable to my battery pack that I'm wanting to store the energy produced and I will hide this down into the floorboard out of direct sunlight just so it doesn't get hot. Then my smaller battery packs that I charge for my GoPro, as you can see it's charging, it's got the red light on. I generally just keep this here in the dash, just out of direct sunlight like so. And that's all I do. I'm able to go out and I'm able to continue to fish. I've got battery packs charging so when my set that I have on me start to dwindle down, I can pause, come back to the truck, swap out, recharge. So I've got like a mobile charging station. I don't have to keep my truck running and I'm not burning gas and wasting energy and just really non-efficient. Generally after about four to five hours, I have at least halfway to three quarters of the way full on this 12 hour battery pack life, just to give you a general idea on how it works. But overall, it's been a cool product and an amazing addition to my arsenal. Overall, pretty cool product. Uh, 
think I gave 40 some dollars for it and it shipped within a couple of days like I stated there'll be links down below if you're interested in the charger or even the battery pack that I use to store the energy with I'll have those listed down below thanks again for watching guys and as always if you like the video drop a thumbs up put a comment down below I'll try to get back as soon as possible and we'll see you on the next video guys Thank mm -hmm. you.